For some, the holidays truly are the most wonderful time of the year. For others, the time of year can be very, very difficult. Dr. Frank George here with some advice on coping, but also helping others who might be suffering. Yeah, Karen and Devin, you know, whether you're dealing with depression or the holidays are triggering symptoms of depression, just getting through the weeks ahead, well, it can be a struggle for many people. But there are steps that you can take to make it a little bit easier for yourself or help support your family or friends. While commercials are filled with holiday joy, that's often not the reality. I think for a lot of people, it reminds them of the folks who are not in their lives anymore. Um, a lot of people feel alone during this time of year, and so that might contribute to depression symptoms. Dr. Kia Rai Pruitt is a psychologist at the Cleveland Clinic. She says some signs of depression can include loss of interest in doing things you used to enjoy, feelings of sadness, hopelessness, or worthlessness, a change in appetite, and trouble sleeping. So what are some ways you can cope during the holidays? I think trying to connect with loved ones who are in your life, um, trying to find things that bring you joy. Um, it might even be changing something in your environment that brings a smile to your face. Try something that appeals to one of your five senses, like smelling a favorite scent, listening to calming music, or going for a walk outside. If you're missing someone, find a way to remember or honor them during the holidays. It's okay if you feel sad or maybe a sense of loss or grief during this time. Um, two, it doesn't mean that because you feel this way now that this is something that will last forever. And be sure to check on those around you. If you do notice uh, a friend or a neighbor that um, is typically by themselves reaching out, offering to help them with something, inviting them over for a meal or a cup of coffee. Like those are also things that you can do to reach out to others who you think might be depressed around this time. Now, Dr. Pruitt says, if your mood doesn't seem to be improving with time, that's a good idea to talk to a mental health professional. And if you are experiencing any kind of suicidal thoughts, you can call or text 988. That is the National Suicide crisis lifeline. This can be tricky because you can find yourself wanting to help someone and you're afraid of saying the wrong thing. You don't yeah. want to be in, seem insensitive. You don't want to intrude right. maybe, but you want to help. Well, you know, so Pruitt says it actually is important to normalize things, normalize those feelings. It's okay to say, you know, I know this might be a really difficult time of the year. Just make it clear that you are willing to listen yeah. and if, you know, you sit with them, that's okay. You don't really even necessarily have to talk. Being with them and being comforting yeah. is the more important thing. Just don't be afraid to reach out and offer that opportunity and that connection. Yeah. Yeah, they can say no, but it's nice to put that offer out. Yeah. Right, yeah. and they yeah. know someone is there. Right. Yeah. Good advice. Right, Thank you, Doc.